So I'm out here at the Flushing Bean. I got this coon skin that I took off a coon earlier. Now what I'm going to do, go ahead and open it up. It is a little stiff. It was cold last night, and I didn't get to flush him last night, so he's about half frozen. There we go. Alright, so the whole point of flushing, we need to get all this chunky fat off of him and get him down to the skin. Now, we'll pull that there, put that into your belly, and you're just working it with this knife, flushing knife. Work that fat down, down to the skin underneath. Now, in this instance, I am saving this coon fat. As you work him, you rotate him. You can get to some of this other area. And again, as you get in here, you need to rotate that skin to expose new areas. I did not do a great job skinning this raccoon. There are quite a few holes in the skin. But hey, you make do. I was skinning it for meat, not for pelt. Just figured, uh, well, actually, I want the fat off the pelt, but I can tan this pelt just the same and use it for smaller projects. And really, once you get into this, it's not hard, it's a little time consuming. Really easy to see when you've gotten down to the skin. Different look, different texture. Alright. Now, I'm going to pull this skin up a little and rotate it. I'm just going to keep pushing this fat down. We get it down here to the bottom and it comes right off. Now, as I said, I'm keeping the fat from this animal. I got a bag of trimming here, actual fat that I took off of it when it was being butchered. Because that's just fat in there. Just so you know, before you do this, it is a dirty job. You will get sticky and gooey and covered in animal bits. If I give you an opportunity to see me using this fleshing bean. Raccoons actually have a ton of fat on them. We can render that down into a lard, turn around and use that to make everything from soap to fixing wax. Again, a lot of fat. down to thin layer of fat on the skin itself. That's when it gets easy. And yeah, you can take your pocket knife, clean it up a little bit, um, spot some areas that the flushing knife didn't do real well. Come in with a pocket knife. Scrape them. Seeing a whole lot, but that's about it. So, 
Yeah, the pelt's got holes in it. The biggest reason I wasn't concerned about saving this pelt as a whole is when he was in the trap, he wrapped the cable that I used to hold the trap in place around and actually wore the hair off his back trying to pull against it. So, not overly concerned. But it's good practice. Now we go put that pelt back in this bag. I'll uh, split and clean the tail when I get back to the house. All in all, there's probably five pounds of fat right there. Now, so I thought I'd come out here one more time before I pack everything up. Um, I just had a hard time getting into the cabin. My hands are covered, of course, in raccoon fat and oil. I couldn't turn the doorknob. It's quite entertaining. Thank you for watching me flesh this uh, raccoon hide. If you would, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And share this video with your friends, because that always helps. Thank you.